Signs of Fake Martial Arts Teachers How to distinguish a fake from a real martial artist, self-defense, sports or health improvement, what to choose, in our time, like mushrooms after rain, a large number of different martial arts schools have grown all over the world, including in the United States, many of which in fact are not. The opening of the information space and the freedom of entrepreneurship have served as fertile ground not only for the development of commercial sports, paid gyms of martial arts, but also various incomprehensible fake disciplines that disguise themselves as martial arts, recruiting students in all possible ways, pursuing really only one goal, making money. The problem is that such fake martial arts not only take the time and money of their students, but also break their psyche, give rise to an unreasonable confidence in them that they can stand up for themselves. It is especially dangerous when they work with children. Among the huge list of schools, styles and sections that position themselves as those who will teach self-defense, it is very difficult for an unprepared person to understand. To begin with, it is necessary to separate these three things, the improvement of a person, sports achievements and self-defense, how to distinguish the real martial arts. The first sign, a huge list of unconfirmed awards and titles of a coach. This is perhaps the main sign by which it is quite easy to identify a charlatan, assigning themselves various titles, don, demonstrating medals from non-existent competitions, such sense they want to appear more important than they really are, to command respect. Often the life path of a fake master is very impressive. Everything is used, a pedigree from historical figures, service in special forces units, victories in non-existent tournaments, study in Shaolin monasteries. Sign 2, an absolute cult of the coach's personality. The authority of the fake coach cannot be questioned. He is the chief teacher, the chief guru, the incarnation of God on earth, supermaster. The charlatan is interested in being surrounded by as many loyal fans as possible, who, for one reason or another, are unable to be critical of reality. These are most often still unformed personalities, children, adolescents, or people with underdeveloped mental abilities. By creating such a community, the pseudo teacher eradicates in any way in the organization all sensible students and instructors. And this, in turn, makes it extremely easy for him to sell his fake skills. Sign 3 no sparring, no kumite, no fighting. If there are no fights in the training process, this is not a martial art. You can do spiritual practices as much as you like, open and close chakras, fill your arms and legs, even train some tricks and pairs. But if there is no opponent who does not just serve as a dummy, who not only resists, but also wants to win, run to another section, you will not be taught anything. The fourth sign, possibility to buy a rank. Some students go not for skills, but for achievements. If you are not one of those, pay attention to whether the achievement of a certain rank, rank, is not guaranteed when passing any paid exam. The rank fee can be disguised as anything. Just ask the coach what belt, what rank you are guaranteed to get after three months of training. If they give you a guarantee, look for another teacher. Fifth sign, secrecy, tricks, mystery and mysticism. Demonstration performances of any master of hand-to-hand -hand combat are always fascinating and spectacular. Such mastery is often achieved through years of constant study and practice. However, in any learning process, you will be shown how this or that movement is done, this or that technique, defense, strike, Yes, you will not be able to sometimes even start training this action without proper preparation. But there will always be demonstration, explanation and clarification. If you see tricks, strikes at a distance, healing, walking on walls, 
water, moving in space and the like, which are actually performed by agreement with partners or with the help of technical means, this is Kwakari. In Japan, such false masters are called Isha. Sign 6. Non-contact combat system. This, perhaps, is a subparagraph of the previous paragraph about counters, but it is better to separate it into a separate feature. Non-contact styles and schools. They teach energy practices, tightening the chakra, cleaning the energy channels, the subtleties of using the energy of Ki or Chi perhaps some other. Try to tell such a teacher that it is impossible to stop the attacker without contact with him. He will say that you do not understand anything and you need to study. There are no non-contact combat systems. We can draw such a conclusion. In their attempts to attract more adherents and earn more money, they seek to use all possible means, not embarrassed to use national or highly spiritual ideas, thereby harming not only hand-to-hand -hand combat and self-defense, but also these ideas themselves. Remember that it is better to spend time looking for a good teacher than to learn from a mediocre one, and even more so from a charlatan.